Hey guys, how's it going? Freya from Tools and Gadgets. Today we have the Evenflow Revolve 360. I know I've made a couple of videos about this in the past already, uh, how to adjust the crutch uh, buckle and how to take out the inserts. But now we are in a well-litted environment already because I have decided to take this out of the car because I'm going to be taking everything out and put it in the washer. And I think it's the best time to show you again how to do those stuff so that you'll get an idea because uh, some people are still asking how do I take this out uh, I keep on telling them to just adjust this one on the top right here but I don't think that they seem to understand the instructions so in a well littered place like inside our home uh, I could show you again how to do everything all of that in one video hopefully so first off uh, I decided to take this out because I'm gonna wash everything in the washer I do this like once every three to six months depending if your baby keeps on eating inside the car then there must be a lot of food debris hidden or tucked underneath this cushion so it is better to clean that uh, once every three to six months so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and start by first adjusting this one and taking out the inserts all right so let's go ahead and take the inserts out first what you want to do is that we are going to be lifting this handle up so that it, this here at the back will be exposed. This is what we are going to take off. So after that, we will be exposed with this uh, inserts here at the back. So as you can see, there is a Velcro here at the back. Let's go ahead and take that off. And you could just simply pull this one out. So there you go. So if your baby has already outgrown this, so yeah that's the best way to take this off okay so we have an insert here in the front so i think below one year old babies would benefit from this but as time goes by your baby has already outgrown this so there are two holes here which you could adjust this but if that won't work anymore for your baby you can just go ahead and take this off just like that so after that you will be exposed with this so this is what i'm talking about like milk stains and food debris that's why i decided to take this off and you will be greeted with this insert here this is the last insert you have three holes here one two and three so if that so if the baby has already outgrown that as well let's go ahead and adjust the crotch buckle so in order to do that Let's go ahead and take the cup holders off just like that and then we are going to lift this one here but first of all let's just go ahead and take this extender off so that you could see clearly what's inside of this. So let's go ahead and lift this one and you will be exposed with this. So it has three holes here. So default guys it's here at the back they they will insert this here at the first slot here so let's say yeah let's just go ahead and return it to its original place so as you can see here guys let's go ahead and slide it back all the way back there so just push down and after pushing down you're just gonna twist it on the side and make it glide its way through to the hole that you like just like that so this is the default guys that's why uh, it's so uh, tight on the baby's crotch because of this so even though if you adjusted here to the third slot but if you didn't adjust this one here it would be no use so if your baby has already outgrown that let's go ahead and push and slide and go ahead on the second slot there so again if your baby outgrew that let's go ahead and push it again bring it to its side then position it to the third slot so that's how you do the uh, crotch buckle adjustment here on the bottom so after that guys uh, this one right here so let's say your baby is already let's say it's this is too tight for a baby already so once you adjust this there's a hidden buckle at the back that slowly releases this buckle so that it will be not tight for your baby anymore so 
as if you go all the way up it will be belt will be more exposed now and take note guys once you adjust that one there so the default the back padding is like that so all you need to do is adjust it accordingly so if that's still too low for your baby there's one more here so this is to protect the baby's back so that it won't hurt so don't forget to adjust that when you pull this up and since we're already here so let's go ahead and take the paddings off so that we could throw this in the dryer or washer and clean this up so first of all let's just unbuckle this again And in order to take this off the strap here at the bottom all you need to do is glide it all the way here at the back and down just like that so that's what you will do here on the other side so let's go ahead and do the same thing glide here at the back and down and release so now you have the headdress released from its base already so you just slide out the uh, seat belt here just like that and take this off just like that so let's go ahead and take the bottom part so on the bottom part you just take out the cup holders here and slowly take this out one by one so as you can see there's a velcro here as well connecting here to the back and let's go ahead and pull this one out so after that go ahead and locate this zipper here on each side just like that and after unzipping this one on both sides there's a velcro here again that you will release just like that on both sides so it's just a velcro holding this guys so just let it uh, guide its way out there's a velcro here supporting the seat belt at the back hold on let me show you that this one this velcro right here when you release it it will also release the seat belt so yeah this is about it guys so everything that i pull out i'll be throwing in the washer and after that i'll be cleaning this one here i'll be vacuuming this one then yeah i'll place it again and so yeah i will show you how to do it again and placing everything back to where it should belong and yeah stay tuned all right guys so i've already cleaned the inserts uh, I threw them in the washer and have them cleaned. So now is the, I think the best time to explain the inners, the inner workings of this uh, Evenflow Revolve 360. As you can see here, there's a adjustable belt uh, seat belt strap here, and the one thing that I couldn't figure out why they have a long a seat belt strap hanging here while i could no longer adjust this so all you need to do is press this and you could pull this one so i'm trying to pull the same time but it, it's already maxed out so i don't know why they left an extra long uh, seal seat belt strap here well they could just i think shorten this one up because i could no longer adjust this one and the crotch buckle adjustment here guys so that you can see it better here so let's go ahead and adjust this one all you need to do is like uh, force one side on the uh, opening here and then you can slide this here the first second or third slots so all you need to do is force one side in all right that's it so let's go ahead and place the inserts back here so that you won't have to reverse the process by watching the video so i'm gonna do it for you so that you can follow as well and to avoid errors in how to place the inserts properly back to your base all right let's do it all right so first off let's go ahead and insert this one the base uh, insert here 
let's go ahead and do that so it's really hard to do it all in one hand guys but i'll do my best to show this to you so first off guys let's go ahead and insert this just make sure that it's in the third slot already so let's go ahead and install it here at the last slot as well and after that you have this velcro right here so all you need to do is like put the seat belt in the middle so that you could lock this at the back just like that let's do it again on the other side so let's just get the seat belt and just let it pass through the velcro and lock it at the back just like that and let's go ahead and open this one up first so that you could properly see next is let's go ahead and insert the cap here the cup holders all right so after that let's go grab our inserts so next off guys uh, you could install this the side impacts because it's really easy to install so first off let's go ahead and there's a velcro here remember there's a velcro here let's just put this in place then after that zip it here on the side just like that then here at the bottom guys there is a velcro here as well all you need to do is just snap it here here on the bottom it will just snap into place so yeah so that's it so same as here guys let's go ahead first let's install the velcro here on top let's go ahead and install the velcro here and let's zip it all the way down just like that so make sure the seat belt is exposed and this velcro will just snap into place automatically there at the bottom yeah so the last thing we'll do is to install these back inserts here and yeah we're done also there's still one more insert here uh, i think this is for the kids two years up to four years old so yeah i'm still gonna install this because my baby is still uh, almost two years old and he needs this insert to properly sit here and after that there's a velcro here at the back so what you want to do is that just fold this here at the back and it will keep it right there all right so for the back insert i think uh, this one is kind of a bit confusing or hard because of this one right here but then yeah i'll show you how to do it okay so you have this strap right here so all you need to do is make this glide right in there just all the way at the back and insert it there all right just like that and we'll be doing again the same thing here on the other side so let's just grab this one and make it glide through all the way at the back just like that then we could go ahead and fix the upper side already and snap this one into place just like that all right so let's go ahead and fix this to the my baby's uh seating positioning so he's probably using around this thing right here so let's go ahead and fold or unfold this one so depending on the height of your baby so yeah I'll be using that one there so just be sure to have this exposed the seat belts yeah there you go it's now fresh and clean for your baby to use again if you have any more questions guys don't forget to write them down below and i'll see you again in our next vlog bye guys mm -hmm.